Hi guys, my name is Kelsey. I am here with a thrift haul for you guys today. I am a reseller, full-time slash part-time. It's not my full-time job, but I do basically work um, as business full-time. But I went to a few thrift stores recently and I have a bunch of stuff to show you guys that I'm really excited about. And I post on Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook, eBay, and Depop. A few items go on Depop, not all of them. It's very limited um, crowd of people. So most of my stuff goes on Poshmark first and then I'll cross list to those other platforms. But I'm really excited about this haul. A lot of the thrift stores I went to had unexpected sales. So that was great for me. So I'm gonna first show you all the bottoms and shoes and then I'll go into the tops. Um, so the first thing I have, the first sale I should say at one of the thrift stores was 50% off all shorts, capris, and pants. So I got the two pairs of, um, basically new without tag Nike women's running shorts. These I spent $3 on and I will probably bundle these with the other pair that I got. Um, I think these are them. And I thought that was pretty good. Six dollars for two newer Nike pieces. Um, that's basically the max I'll spend for a Nike piece is six dollars, whether it's newer or older. I find that I can still make a reasonable profit, a profit with spending only that much. So next I got this pair of American Eagle jeans, and I know a lot of resellers kind of don't sell American Eagle, but I think it's a great, it can be a really good brand to sell. Um, I was really excited about these. These are their mom jeans and they're distressed, kind of like the straight leg that mom jeans have. I really wish these were my size, but they're a little small. Um, but yeah, these were $3. I think they're very trendy right now. And I'm hoping, usually I can get at least $10 for a pair of American Eagle jeans, bare minimum. Sometimes I can get 15 to 20. So three dollars for them. Another pair of American Eagle jeans, which I think are really trendy and like they're just a good cut. Are these super distressed white raw hem jagging style jeans? They're high waisted. They got basically everything going for them. Um I think this is the last pair of American Eagle I got. Not Honestly, I don't remember picking these up. And it's fine. They're nice jeans. They're high-rise jegging cut. Um, I just don't know why I bought them. They're short length. But, yeah, they're $3. I'll make money on them easily, either on Facebook or um, Mercari. Sells really well for them. So next I found, sorry, next I found this pair of Athleta, Athleta yoga pants and yoga pants are definitely coming back in style. These are like really good condition. There's like no wear in the crotch area, which you have to be careful for, but these are size medium. They were $3. I got this pair of new with tags, men, American Eagle jeans. They're just black. Um, I don't think men's have styles. Oh yeah, met black skinny jeans. These are four dollars. Again, I don't really pick up men's jeans often, but if I do, it will be American Eagle. And when they're new with tags, I mean, can't really beat it. Uh, I found this pair of cut jeans or cut capris. And I'm not sure, I know a lot of resellers have a lot of knowledge about like newer tags, older tags, um, but I really don't know. I think this is a newer cut from the cloth tag, but I could be completely wrong. I'm used to one that looks different and that could just be because I haven't seen newer cut pants, but um, these are just the capris size eight petite and these are $4. They're the Lauren Cropped Straight Leg Petite Jeans. So, I think cut brings a lot of attention to my closet. 
Uh, I picked up this because it was half off and it's like an Oshkosh, um, bagosh, bib style, little ruffled kids dress. So freaking cute. Um, yeah, so I spent $1.50 on this. Found these Pilcrow in the letterpress, which is a brand sold at Anthropology Jeans. I picked them up because of this detail right here. Um, I think they're super fun. They're $3. I mean, I don't know. I just started finding this brand because a reseller I follow online started mentioning it. And now I seem to find it like, I found it like three times since. This is a pickup I regret getting, and I knew I was going to regret getting it. Um, it's an older athlete tag, which I can't even show you. Anyway, they were $3. They're like super old school embroidered yoga pants. I mean, they're really cute. I just think they're kind of like a little old school. So we'll see. Uh, next, I found this pair of Power Hold Fabletics. I love selling, well, actually, I should say I used to love selling Fabletics. I haven't had much of luck with it recently, but these were $3 and they're the Power Hold, which is like, I think, I don't know. I don't know if it's better or not. I just think it's, I don't know. I like selling Fabletics. Um, I got this pair of Brooks new with tags running shorts for four dollars again with all these shorts that I got if they don't sell they're my size so I'll keep them next I got this pair of Juicy Couture pants they're like jogger style um obviously they're like velvety velour um material these were three dollars Every time I post a pair of Juicy Couture pants, they sell within a week for me. I don't know what it is, but they do. I found this um, Bagatelli, I think is how you say it. It's genuine like suede leather um, mini style pencil skirt. This was $4. I think this is sold at Nordstrom, but it just feels like amazing quality. And... I picked it up next I if you continue to watch me you'll learn that I love si selling plus size things I used to be plus size I used to know the struggle and ever since um, I started reselling I definitely gravitate towards plus size these are super cute like mauve cover colored um, paper bag cinched style waist uh, straight leg denim jeans and these are four dollars um i found this pair of soft surrounding leggings these were these are like a greenish gray color stretchy skinny leg for tall people i found this pair of men pants that i couldn't pass up because it looked like a luxury men um men's brand and i did as a little bit of research the brand is pto5 and it looks like a designer brand pants and these are like a grayish denim a grayish greenish brown i guess they're brown yeah i guess they're more of a sand colored denim for men these are three dollars i figured i could take the risk with them Again, I don't sell a lot of men's clothes, so I don't really know what's good and what's bad, but I'm hoping I can get like at least 20 bucks for those. I picked up a few seven for all mankind jeans. These are the ankle. Um, these are like raw hem capri length seven for all mankind pants. These are $4. I also found the seven for all mankind burgundy like wine colored skinny skinny ankle length jean these were three dollars um see this is 
this is the cut from the cloth tag I'm familiar with. I picked up these. These are, I think, boyfriend cut. Okay, it doesn't say. I don't remember what cut. Yeah, they're like straight leg, mid-rise denim jeans. They're like excellent condition. These are $4. No. Yes. These were three to $4. Now I'm getting confused because this is from a different thrift store. So, um, I picked up this pair of Torrid, which again, plus size. Anytime I find Torrid, I almost always pick it up. Um, it's very rare well, where I'll find a piece and I'll turn it down. And usually if I do turn it down, it's because of price. Sometimes they kind of overpriced. These are just Torrid. Um, plus size, mid wash, like light wash. I guess this is boot cut type um, jeans. These were $6, which is almost the max I'll pay for a pair of Torrid pants. Next, I'm really excited about these. These were $6.50. It's a pair of Dana Buckman, Buckman, I don't know, Lamb's Leather Pants. And they're plus size, which I actually find a lot of plus size leather or like animal skin pants. And I sell them almost all within like a week. I actually just found a pair of plus size leather green boot cut pants and they sold on ebay after like a week of having them posted i found this pair of levi's they're mile high super skinny i got them for three dollars they have a cute raw hem i never sell levi's jeans ever 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 i don't know why i see them and i pass right over them the only one i know that's good and that is newer is like the wedgie style and i did buy a pair of them new with tags recently and they're not getting really much attention so i'm gonna try this make the mile high super skinny we'll see how it does um not a lot of money went into it though so it's fine i have this pair of chino by anthropology I was like debating these for a while. Well, one, it's like kind of has like this pool here, which I'm seeing it in the camera more than I did in person, but there's definitely like, like some type of tug there, I think. I'm gonna steam them, but these are like a gray career work pant and they're by Anthropology. I spent five bucks on them. Again, one of the only reasons I picked them up, well, two, I guess. One is anthropology. Two is because they're plus size. The last pair of pants I have is a new tag, size 14, uh, straight leg, like vintage-y looking jean from um, Universal Threads. I don't know if I said that. I actually have a pair just like this in a different color and i freaking love it i wish they were my size but i spent 350 on these so that's pretty good i have some sports bras i got two victoria's secret sports bras both are in excellent condition i'd say maybe worn once they're both the same size i spent ten dollars on both of them and i'll probably put them in a bundle together and sell them like that instead of selling them um each alone moving on to shoes I have this pair of Sam Edelman sandals they're size 12 women's which I've never sold a size 12 woman shoe before but I feel like there has to be a market for it I spent 350 on them they're really good condition other than there is some like chipping right along the toe there I'm actually about to like photograph all these shoes so I'm like tossing them onto the side next I forget the brand of these I looked it up and I forget but they seem to go for like 40 bucks. These are in really good condition. Um, 
There's like a little bit of damage to this one heel right here. But other than that, the bottoms are in great condition. And they're oil resistant. But they just remind me of something that you'd see like a character in Frozen wearing. And they're platform, super cute. I picked up this pair of kids Sorel boots. And unfortunately, I noticed as I was checking out that there is damage to this one drawstring. It like kind of tore. Otherwise, they're in really good condition. I washed them up. Um, the inside is pilling a little bit, but that's that. I spent five bucks on them. I'm sure I can post them for um, a little bit. I'm sure I can get at least 15 off them. Next, I have this pair of like polka dot leopard cheetah print style genuine suede heeled lace up booties. I don't know. This is by the they're by the brand Colin Stewart and they're worn. I don't know, maybe once. They're like in great condition. I just think they're so freaking cute. So I had to pick them up. I had to. Let's see. Um next is a pair of Teos. Taos. I don't really know how to spell this. This is like an outdoorsy brand. They're Mary Jane Red Genuine leather shoes i spent 350 on them they're in really good condition other than the back there is some like discoloration along there but the toes look pretty good the bottoms look great so i've sold one other pair of shoes by them so we'll see next i found this pair of piccolinos i have a pair of shoes by them the flats and they have not sold so we're gonna see if maybe this this style of piccolinos will do better i spent 450 on them and they're great condition i don't think they've honestly ever been worn more than a handful of times the bottoms are like good so um let's see i'm missing a shoe these are new without tag, Nine West little booties. And they have like the little bow tie up top. I spent $6.50 on them. They've never been worn. Genuine leather. I just think it's a very basic piece that I should be able to flip. I mean, it's a season for boots. So I also don't think I've sold a pair of Nine West before. So. Last but not least, I'm hoping I can sell these relatively quickly, even though it's off season. I got this pair of navy blue um, Burks. I don't know the style. I don't know. I don't really know anything. I think they're men's or women's nine and a half. Um, but yeah, they were a little crusty looking. I did wash them up. I spent five bucks on these bad boys, so. Hopefully I can flip them quickly. So that's that. Ugh. Now I'm gonna show you the shirts that I have. Some of these are like nothing I bought and I got them for free. So, um, yes, shirts. Like I said, I love picking up Tord. I debated this. I had it in my hand. I had it on the hanger. I was looking at it and debating for the longest time if I should get it. It's just a basic, like, I think this is like, I don't even know. It's just a basic three quarter length sleeve Tord top. It's a two by Tord. It's 100% model, model, I don't know. Um, it's just like this really cute summery beachy style top and I spent six dollars on it. If it was three dollars I would have had no problem but the six dollars had me debating for a while. I found this cool which this needs some work. It's obviously like needs to be steamed or something but this is the brand Cool K-U-H-L um, which always gets 
a lot of attention whenever I do post I've only posted I think two things by them and they sell quickly and although this isn't exactly a new style I'm hoping I can still make money I spent four bucks on it next I have this cotton denim look dress and the reason I bought this it came as a two-piece but this is the bottom of it it's like sun moon and stars very trendy super cute so that's that but then it came with this jacket which i plan on listing them separately because i don't think anybody would wear this together could be wrong but i found this jacket that came with it and look at the back i mean somebody will love this in my opinion i spent 750 on both of them i found this calvin klein's um old school fitted hoodie with like the embroidered Calvin Klein there this was three dollars I think Facebook I think that was sell on Facebook next I found this Lulu's dress which I'm trying to find I cannot for the life of me find a stock photo for this and I really need to because I don't think it does justice like holding it up it's an open back deep V cut up front and then as like I said it like stays open in the back but it's this beautiful burgundy long dress with like the side slip it's just stunning like absolutely stunning and me hanging on a hanger is not going to do it justice so i need to find a stock photo for that i found this we the or free people i keep thinking it's we the free this is a free people cardigan it's like very shaggy boho-ish-esque um frayed like raw hem style asymmetrical cardigan cardigan excuse me has pockets um super cute you can't even like really tell what i'm holding up it's just a very big piece of fabric um i spent six dollars on it we'll see I don't pick up a lot of free people. I don't know why. I just think it's like oversaturated on Poshmark and I haven't really had luck with it. So we'll see how that go how that does. I picked up this Eloquy dress for eight dollars. It's very pretty color. It's like a pink kind of fit and flare bodycon dress. It's like a balloon style sleeve. It's a size 18. Again. Love picking up plus size. This is new with tags, so hopefully I can get like, I'll post it for like around 50 to $60 and I'm hoping it does pretty good. This is a um, fossil cropped little sweater. It's so cute. It has the pocket in the front and then these buttons down the back and it's a size extra small. I spent $4 on this. But I think it's super trendy and like a basic piece that everybody should have in their wardrobe. I picked up this Fabletics tank top. And I kind of regret getting this. I got this when I first got there and I went through like every single new rack they had out on the floor. And I couldn't find anything except this. And I guess this was just like my cry for help saying like, I'm leaving the store with something. Whether it's just this Fabletics tank top or more. But anyway... If it doesn't sell, I can always keep it for myself. It's just a Razorback athletic tank top. <laughs> Nothing special. Now we're getting into more fun things. So I found this. This is by the brand Out From Under. It's sold at Urban Outfitters. And it's this flannel style freaking jumper let me like stand up oh my gosh it is literally the definition of trendy right now it has pockets it has a waist tie it's like bib style and i just think it's perfect and i spent i think eight dollars on it i spent six dollars on that i got this pair of drew Split leg, like beachy style pants, which 
which is sold at Anthropology. If it doesn't sell, I'll definitely keep them for myself. I got this H&M dress, which I picked it up and I was like, this is H&M? I was like, no, this is like a really nice quality. And I saw on Poshmark, it had a listing that sold for $60. It's this beautiful dress. It's like a high neck, just ballooned body. And I found, like I said, I found a listing for it. And the pictures, like the stock photos they have of this dress are beautiful. I, I did pay up $8 for this dress. For an H&M piece, that's like a lot of money, I feel like. But I'm hoping I can get what the other girl got for hers because it's such a pretty dress. It's such good quality. I found this sweater, which is like heavy, like a heavy sweater. There's no size tag. I'd say it fits a size medium. It's handmade, 100% virgin wool. 100% Canadian virgin wool is what this like handmade tag says down here. Um, it is just stunning. Like, stunning. I have nothing else to say. I don't think I've ever felt a sweater that was like this nicely crafted. It is, you can tell the quality on this piece just by the heftiness that it holds. It is, it is, it is a sweater. I found this jumpsuit, which was half off, so I spent three fifty on it. Ouch! Um, it's just a black basic jumpsuit with like the, like the little. I don't know. It's just very like modern. It's by the hand brand Honey Bell. I just think it's a basic piece, and it feels like really good quality. I found this Matilda Jean dress. I love selling Matilda Jean. It's kind of out of style, but I'm gonna try it out see if I can sell it hopefully find some stock photos for it because I don't think it's gonna look good just hanging up then this is a kind of funny let me do my last thrifted piece this is just a torrid like sleep top I got for four bucks again love selling torrid anything it's a 4x really good condition lounge wears in <sighs> And that's it for the stuff I haven't photographed yet. I did photograph some of my thrift haul and it's already like inventoried and stuff. So you won't be able to see it, but I am hoping I do good with this stuff and it doesn't sit for a long time. But funny story to end the video, I joined a thrifting Facebook group and they always talk about Johnny Was. Johnny Was is like a bolo. You want to find it seek it out and look at any embroidered piece you find to hopefully find Johnny was. Well, yesterday I was like really motivated to clean out my closet and get rid of stuff that I haven't been wearing for a long time or that doesn't fit or that's just not my style. So I cleared it out. I put my summer wardrobe away in a box and I have my winter and like fall wardrobe out right now. And I had this tank top and I was like, I, I got this and I'm getting surgery to, re to remove some of my excess skin after losing like my 90 pounds. And I've been kind of holding out on like a few pieces. And this was one of those pieces that I was like, maybe after my surgery, it will fit my arms better. Um, or I'll just feel more confident and I'll want to wear it. And I like looked at it and I really, I did the Marie Kondo whatever method and I was like I don't think I need this in my life like why I don't need to hold on to this for another four months to decide if this is gonna work for me and then I was looking at the tag and it's a freaking Johnny Was collection now don't get me wrong this is like nothing super special there is embroidery along the bottom but it's not that special of a piece, but the fact that I had Johnny Was in my closet for probably well over a year and didn't even know it, it's just so funny. And I was also just going to donate it. <laughs> and I don't know. I just thought it was funny that I learn new brands every single day. And I'm definitely going to post this and have a piece of Johnny Was in my Poshmark closet, which I'm really excited about. 
But anyway, that's my thrift haul. It's everything I got or almost everything I got recently. I do have more stuff up in my car that I have not even brought into the house yet, but that's for another time. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys all in the near future. Goodbye.